All right, welcome back again. And in this segment, as I mentioned earlier, I'm showing you what the can looks like in its complete form, minus the stack. There's no need for me to show you how much six pipes look like when they're stacked up on top of each other. Well, basically, when the can is ready to go, there are two things that will have to take place. You'll have to get it off the ground, number one. And to do that, this is what was the beauty of these particular fittings. These fittings dealt with a 7 8 inch diameter piping that could go in the hole. Now, boating, they do make a 7 8 inch um, pipe. However, I looked at it and it wasn't thick enough and it wasn't, I felt, real solid. Not to mention it was costly. So I didn't feel it was worth the taking the time to spend that kind of money on it. So I looked around and I found something that was very, very friendly to most households. And that would be three quarter inch copper pipe. I mean, that's very basic. You could get this anywhere. I do know that the price of copper is a little high right now, but you could still get a full 10 foot piece of copper pipe for maybe 15 bucks. And you could certainly cut your feet that you need, your four feet. In this particular case, I've cut these in less than 14 inches because I want to be able to put them into my stacking vent pipe and I can stack these into there and then they can put that into my can. Now they're not 14 inches but they're just shy of about 12 inches. What I've also done is I've gone and got a rubber foot and the reason for that is that when it's inside of a tent you will have to have at least this is my preference, I will have a fire retardant mat that will be put down on the floor. That is just for extra protection for any type of sparks that might come out from here or from the can when you open it up. I don't believe that you should turn around and take the chance to burning your tent or yourself. So any way you can, always think safety first and they do make a fire retardant uh, not tarp, but a fire retardant mat that is put under tent stoves. So the rubber feet, what that does is just stops it from flopping around, sliding, possibly ripping the material. So what would happen here is essentially, and I'm not going to do this with all four legs because I don't think I could do that with four legs at a 45 degree angle. I could put it on my bench here and show you what it looks like with all four legs. But I think you can get the idea that when you take the 40, when you take the leg and you stick it in there, now they these came these fittings came with a Allen wrench set screw. I didn't want the Allen wrench set screws because then you got to carry an Allen wrench. So I ended up putting these thumb thumb bolts in so that I can tighten down. But there's what my leg is. Now when I have all four of these. It gives the, uh, the box, when it's standing up in its position, it gives it about roughly 8 inches off the ground lift at a 45 degree angle with these, these fittings. And it also looks like a spider. Hence the reason why my name for this box is the spider box. So, again, that's personal preference. If you want to go 30 degrees, you want to go 45 degrees, I don't recommend 60. That would be too far too more or far of a spread and then you'll eat up too much real estate inside your tent. But um, either 45 or 30s will give you the ability to have stability so that somebody can't accidentally knock this over. I do not recommend 90 degrees because if you've got a box sitting on straight legs, straight down, all you have to do is bump it and it goes over, causing a fire or causing some damage. So with 35, 30 or 40, 45 degree uh, fittings, I think it's the best. So now I'm going to take this leg out because I'm sure you figured it out how these legs work. But now I want to show you why I like the 20 mil can versus any other can. When I'm going to set fire, I'm um, put wood in here to, set, to start a fire, I want to be able to go like this, lift this up, feed the fuel into the can. As the fuel is into the can, the good thing about it is I don't have to disrupt the stack. I don't have to disrupt 
anything on the front of the cam. All I have to do is just lift this door, put it in, shut it, and it's done. Now my wood is cooking. I've got the heat that I need. It's vented this way. It's vented in the stack with a damper, and I don't have to worry about it. Another nice thing is this flat surface allows me to maybe, if I choose, warm up water. I could put a pan on here. I could put a metal cup, a military metal cup, canteen cup, and I could warm water up. And I have water for coffee, tea, or MREs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where I kind of took it even one crazy step further. This satisfies the needs for a tent stove. This gives you the heat that you need in that stove. But why just have a source that creates heat for you? Why not create a source that you could cook on? So you got more use out of this device rather than just one purpose. So in the next segment, I'm going to show you what I've done. I've created some accessories. See you in a bit.